Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lonely Train Station Blues. This is uh, part 6 of my collection of poetry, which you can buy by following the link down below. I hope you will enjoy it. This is a salvation. And we, the obscenities, should rave and roar and laugh like beasts let loose at the fall, at the dawn, at midnight and at noon. And we, the alienated, weird and disenfranchised, should rage at the night-lined sky filled with pompous dreams and sacrifice. Hollow futures in empty promises held by minuscule terrorists pointing fingers through the sockets of their eyes shooting us for revolution. And we, being unceremoniously buried beneath the weight of a thousand thousand yard stairs, should bleed profusely profound truths delivered poetically true and just into the megalomaniacal minds of watered-down tempters and sneering wild and mild and free kids with promises of salvation. And that is salvation from liberty, the oppressive tyranny of free expression ideologically detained in waste bucket nights. Wild spittoon images popping up behind eyelids closed by the encroaching bombs dropping from skies sanctified by political circus clowns trembling with alcoholic delirium. And that is salvation in the post-apocalyptic utopia of an elite feigning incoherent anti-elitism. Establishment goons fighting shadows of former glories pretending not to know of their own circumstance and happening upon blood-stained walls and gutters lined with entrails from sacrificed kids led to the slaughter by brutal behemoths frostily parroting death terms of surrender. And that is salvation embalming dead knights in drunk despair, forming loose-knit bonds of me, myself and I in drugged stupors, claiming to know unflinching how the world works and where the world begins and where the world ends, miraculously pondering free-falling poetry encased in postmodern piss-pots overturned atop the heads of thinkers howling that truth is not beauty no more. And that is truth, and that is beauty, the death of both in this perplexing glass house in which they stand to throw rocks and stones and gargle words that none would dare to understand, nodding in silent agreement for not daring to state the obvious and point out the elephant in the room, faulty reign of Queen Bee Supreme, Mrs. Death Despair locked within these walls and upon this gargantuan never mind and never wear, spread words that sing like truth where now n no truth now exists. And that is truth, and that is beauty, all glazed over in eyes that fill with fever, flailing like mad to gain a foothold within this hive of arrogance and decadence and dead night despair, where once we set our feet to pound the rhythm of the music, dancing in lines the conga stratosphere disaster, and then fall on the floor like mad vultures landing upon a carcass, remembering where we used to be and how and who and whom and why. Then weeping a little, then turning over to cry, then burning up and trying to recall some grand memory of times gone by where we remembered childhood innocence and pure understanding, where once there was such things as beauty and as truth, no longer valued in a state of bliss, where we stay locked in cages scared to come out and play upon the streets and in the woods. For all is locked down and caked with ice and crusty streaks of semen mixed with period blood before in crisis splendid and decayed, then creeping a little, then turning over to weep, then dying in mixed splendour, our screams reaching climaxes never thought or heard or seen before, stomped beneath the weight of land whales marching to the tune of some frizzled memory of a grounded disco beat. Ah, oh, freak out. And that was that. I hope you enjoyed it, that you would consider buying the book that you will like, share and subscribe, and that you will have a good day. This is Maria Lachier, signing off.